In recent years, the Commonwealth Government has paid hundreds of millions of dollars to consultants for work previously performed by public servants. Following allegations of PwC allegedly, allegedly disclosing confidential Treasury information to the multinational clients, my question to the panel is, will the Government continue to outsource large amounts of work to firms such as PwC, which have displayed questionable ethics and a ticker box culture for risk and conflict management. Stephen Jones. Simon, thanks for your question. What went on in PwC is a national disgrace um, with international consequences uh, for that firm and others. Um, it, and you're right to point to um, the excessive level of outsourcing of core Commonwealth and government work that has gone over the, on well, the last decade. Why haven't you banned all PwC work? Uh, I'll come to that in a tick. So the first thing we are doing is ensuring that we are building up Commonwealth government and public sector capacity again, and we first instalment of that in the last budget. So we will be doing less outsourcing, is the short answer. Interestingly, with the PwC stuff, though, it didn't happen because we were outsourcing. It happened because we wanted to go and consult with some experts on the de on developing policy, and frankly. If we can't consult in confidence with a group of experts on something, then government is poorer for it and we get worse policy. So what Mr Collins did in that, in that affair is an absolute disgrace. There are ramifications immediate. Less outsourcing, improving our procedures for outsourcing and government contracts now. There will now be an ethics test. So if, you've behaved, if you're a business that, or individuals within your businesses that have behaved unethically, that will affect your capacity to win government contracts. Anthony Wheely KC says it could... Um, effectively, this should be, or could be, rather, referred to the federal ICAC. Should it be? Um, I think it would be extraordinary if it wasn't, but I don't think it should be done at the behest of a politician. We set up an independent uh, process. We established it, we've legislated it, and we were adamant. It's separate from politics, separate from government. I understand that, government. but do you think this is worthy of consideration by a national integrity well, body? It, these are the sorts of things that you would set up a national integrity body to look at. Um, and, so this, uh, this, this to is, you, meets the criteria of the sort of thing it should be looking at? It's exactly at. the sort of thing that you would set up a national... You would have a national integrity body to look at, but I think it's the integrity body itself that should act on this. Yeah, look, not I understand at the you don't want to make a referral And I'm not yourself. going to make a referral, and I'm not even going to be seen to be, you know, pressuring a body to make a referral, but I think... This one is something, you know, Keith? when we had it in mind, it's exactly what you would want right, to watch. I, I just Should it be referred? I just want to, you know, say that Stephen's exactly right. We, we don't want to go forward with the, the knack with politicians going through the theatre of saying we're going to refer something to it. But I agree. Well, what we saw at PwC was just appalling. And, and think about what happened. They were given confidential briefings on tax reform that stopped mm -hmm. offshore tax minimisation. Mm -hmm. And they then sold that to clients mm -hmm for their own benefit and for those clients' benefit. That lost tax revenue has to be made up from somewhere and it's a heavy income tax system that we have. And so think of all the things we didn't get to spend or save from that mm. money and that burden was put on other people. Sally? This is always going to be a risk. Like whenever you outsource to a company who's, of course, they're a company, they want to make money, they want more business, that that is always going to be a tension. We've lost 16,000... 16,000 public sector workers over the last 10 years. We should have people whose only loyalty and their only purpose in their job is to serve the Australian people and to give advice based on that only and not also to have a pool of, oh, what about the next job? What about the next business? Yes, you can put, of course, um, things in place to make that less likely, but it was always going to be a risk. OK, so going forward, what do you think the government should be doing? Are they doing enough? I think that they are also suffering what a lot of employers are uh, because of the skill shortage at the moment. I think that it's a big job to rebuild the federal public sector workforce. I think that it uh, needs to be done. We want our best and our brightest people working to, to serve us. Like, the, you know, we should have the experts internally. We should have the experts in our universities. Um, we should be able to rely on ourselves and not be dependent on overseas big multinationals for this type of work. Do you think... The, the, wait a minute, just one question before I go. Do you think the ICAC, the, the NAC, rather, it's called, hmm. should be looking at this? Yes. Hmm. Would you refer it? 
Uh, I don't know. Does the ACT secretary get to refer things? Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah why yeah, not? Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you can't well, do not. the. I'm a politician. I'm at arm's length. You're a. You, you, you think it should be? Yeah, I do think. I do think it's worthy of um, being investigated. Absolutely. Oh, and to be clear, I, yeah. I think it should be as well. I just think the theatre of us going through that process. Mm. Of course, it should be referred. I right. Couldn't okay. Think of a so better you're example. aware of the optics of you looking like you're calling for it, That's but you're right. saying you think yeah. it should be. Yeah. Michael. Well, I was just going to ask, but nonetheless. You know, having come from a strong labour yeah, yeah. background, uh, union background myself, my family, is th there's still nonetheless a legitimate role for the private sector to be working with yep, and, sure, with, and within government, and, and I see that particularly in the defence industries. Yep. Like if you look at the states, so many developments, technological developments, and others that have driven um, American national security capabilities have come from the private sector. Sure, governments aren't going to be able to do everything and have all the skills and experience for everything, but we lost our core, our core workforce. 16,000 people is a lot of people.